<laughs> Let's go. Dear friend, join us and drink. Yes, brother, you've had a long journey. You must be thirsty. This is no time for levity, Jason. Malachi, it's your father. He's ill and I think he may be dying. We need to leave. Unlike you, Jason, your brother never had a problem with spoiling a perfectly good time. And tell me, why should I leave? He was the one who sent me away. Get up now, or you will know what it feels like to be run through. Nobody told me I had to bring you back alive. Join us and drink. Or meet the devil. You know, the last man who told me that is in his grave. Jason. So you will not drink with us. This is not the time, Malcolm. You look well. Excuse, Excuse me. me. It's been too long, Eric. Brother! <laughs> Now, are you ready to leave? Now I guess I have no choice. Anything like this before. Come, we must hurry to your father's side. Time is short. The gates are open. Not when I left.
who died defending his people and his kingdom. May you be worthy of this ancient and holy symbol of rule and serve and honor your people. I should never have returned. These people need a leader. They need you. I have no bond with them. You do. I am a warrior, not a politician. This is your birthright. You are our king, Malachi. As it was meant to be. I've never seen it like this before. Well, it stands to reason. Mm. That was the worst hunt I've ever had. Eric, this is pathetic. As I've already told you, it's been like this for a long time. It wasn't like this when I left. You were gone, Jason. How could you know? Come now. We're here. We're together. We can restore the kingdom. Your father tried. It took him it years tried to... tried what? To lose the respect of his people. Look at them, Eric. They do not warn him. Why would they? Your father died trying to save Dragonoth. Malachi. Perhaps we should just go back to the castle. Perhaps a king should know his people. And with the greatest of respect, sire, now might not be the safest time to do that. You need not fear me. Here, take it. Me? They've got food. <sighs> They've got food. They have. They've got it. Example out of him. You will have anarchy. Go. God's teeth. You will have to trust my judgment. He's only been king for one day. Give him time, brother. We must go. No one will be able to walk in as we did. Okay, good. I've also placed 20 sentries at various points around the perimeter. And I put locks on all of the doors. You did? So why is that door open? Apparently that wasn't enough, brother. How did you get in here? I can see you're not impressed by my magic trick. Perhaps something a little more complicated.
Unfortunately, the effects don't last for long, and afterwards the meat is terrible. What do you want with us, magician? My business is with the king. I'm here to help him, and you, defeat the scourge that killed his father and has all but destroyed the kingdom. And you are? Kramer. Heinrich Kramer. And what is this scourge you speak of? Witches, gentlemen. This man is clearly mad, Jason. Throw him off the parapet. Well, let's see what he has to say. We could all do with a bit of cheering up. Perhaps he has some more magic tricks. So you are suggesting the failure of our crops is because of witchery? I do, sire, yes. Explain yourself. With pleasure. What are these things? That is a rapture stick, rather. It is a piece of one. It is the prize of my collection. Careful with that. This, this is Labellus Venificus, my book of witches. I found it in the ruins of a village. Hundreds of people, men, women, children, killed. Terrible. I've been trying to translate it with some little success. These are the tools of my trade. What trade might that be, sir? I am a witch hunter. I collect the signs of the dark forces and record what I learn in my book. There is much evidence of the witches I seek here in Dragonoth. And that fragment you hold in your hand is one of the most powerful conveyors of the dark forces that I have found. A witch's most valued weapon with it. They can conjure the blue fire of lightning, can convey themselves as if on a gust of wind. Unfortunately, few of the items in my possession are of use to anyone who has not invited the dark forces into his soul. How convenient. So I understand correctly, you are here to warn us of witches. And you wish for me to believe you. Without proof, sir, I cannot. Your father tried to silence me too. His refusal to heed me killed him as surely as if it had been by his own hand. How dare you speak such treason? He was hiding something. Why else would he keep you ignorant of the state of the kingdom for so many years, sending you off as a child, keeping you away? You are either a very brave man or a very foolish one. There must be some logical explanation for this. Blight. Some strange manifestation of the plague. Something. Sir, I find it incredibly hard to believe that all of our troubles of the kingdom are because of witches and spells. There's no drought. No disease. Yet field after field is burned brown. That is because the witches are devastating the crops. I can help you restore your kingdom. My father, he tried, and he failed. Are you implying that you could succeed where he could not? I need your assistance in battling the dark forces. I want you to go after the witches and their queen with me. I can teach you what I know, but I cannot do it alone. Why did you not enlist the help of the villagers? They won't believe me. This is absurd. There are no such thing as witches. Merely an invention. Fairy tales told to naughty children. There are no dark forces coming to claim us. You are much like your father. Don't make the same mistakes he made. Let me prove it to you. This day, have your pages call your people to assemble in the town As square. entertaining as that promises to be, I think not. Well, if nothing else, he could bring the rabbits back to life. Let's give him a chance. Very well. You will have your chance. My brother and I are watching you. You'll be mindful of that. Little Hitchick. People of Dragonoth, 
I know what causes the ills that have befallen the kingdom. It is witches who move freely among us. This book has shown me how to root them out and eradicate them. You must listen to me. The end of days is near. I have seen it with my own eyes. It is witches that ruin the crops and witches that threaten the village. They are among us even now. There is only one way to end the starvation. We must burn the witches, each and every one. Theirs is an evil. I believe Witch the lack of food makes your mind play tricks on you. <laughs> we will feed you and give you water. And you may continue on your journey. Make it happen. One meal for one man will not make a difference. My mind is sound. You cannot ignore what you see around you. The kingdom and all its inhabitants will perish unless you heed my words. You do not believe now, but I will show you that mine are not simply the words of a starving madman. This powder, now the color of ox blood, was once as bright as that which flows through your veins. It is of the witches themselves and will unmask the evil ones. Still don't believe this charlatan. 
So with your own eyes. The same as I did, Eric. There has to be some plausible explanation. Well, then what might that be? Look, our only priority right now is to defend the kingdom. We must prepare for anything, plausible or otherwise. If this threat is real, and I still don't believe it is, how are we to battle a coven of witches with swords, bows, arrows, and potions? Mock my potions, if you will. But my powder did exactly as it was meant to. It saw beneath the benign exterior to reveal the evil presence within. That's how they've infiltrated your kingdom, sire, in the guise of innocence. Well, enlighten us, Heinrich. If they're so powerful, how do you propose we defeat them? Oh, my book has shown me some secrets. Don't despair. We cannot simply just stand here and wait for the witches to attack. He's right. If what we saw today was any indication, they have great power. We should ride at once and take this enemy by surprise. It is our only hope of defeating them. I've seen witches. Here, here, and here. Now, my book, I'm sure, shows the location of their fortress. So far, the translation of that part has eluded me, but there is this representation of a village. I believe we'll find it here, at the very edge of our land. It's two days' ride from here. It's where we saw the worst of the devastation. Yeah. Very well. We will leave immediately and send word back when, if we find witches. I am coming with you. Your kingdom needs its leader. Stay here where you're safe. The kingdom will be defended by its king. Witches leech the plant's energy to fuel their dark magic, like a vampire bat sucking life from a lamb. in this area? Indeed, there should be. By the gods. They'll pay with their lives for leaving their posts. Calm yourself, brother. I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason. Let's hope so. For their sake. We go now. Get the witch hunter's book. Pry it from his dead fingers if you must. Do not return without it. Side of them. It's quiet here. Yes, too quiet.
I like this switch. <sighs> Spirited. Where are you and your friends from? Cafe. Perhaps you've heard of it. We find the pickings easier here. I should kill you right now. You fight well, madam. But you're clearly outmatched. I would suggest you reconsider. A leader of murderers and thieves have killed two of our men. You're right. But the blight has affected them too. They fight well. They would join us for a good cause. Besides, we could use a few good men. I am Malachi, your king. I offer you this choice. Join us. We fight witches. They intend to destroy the kingdom and every one of us. Or die here on this day. Witches? What nonsense is this? You take me for a fool. We've seen their terrible power with our own eyes. This fighting must end. We are not enemies. The threat is real. Join us and you will live, or die with honor. If you do not, I promise you only a coward's end. Make a choice. We will join your quest. I'm honored by the opportunity to serve my king. you so far from the castle we expected to see you earlier on our travels but you were not at your post two strange women approached us they attacked us tried to draw the very breath from our bodies they dragged us from the road we had to kill them witches they flew through the air on a cloud of red mist so they are dead which means we cannot question them yet you are still not at your appointed post while they pleaded for their lives, they begged us to take them back to their village where others of their kind would pay for their release. It's not far, just across the mountain, about half a day's ride. We can take you there. Finally, you may be of some use to us. We camp here tonight. We must make a good plan of action. I learn as much as we can of this, this witchcraft. If we wish to have any hope of bringing into this. Well, the book speaks of the hive-like interconnection of their souls. So, it stands to reason we take down their queen, the rest will follow. And we must strike at her first, and swiftly. What's this? A fierce weapon for such a timid man. I designed that crossbow with a mechanism which rapidly reloads the arrows. It's fitted with a flame. The arrow tips are coated in animal fat, which ignite when they're ejected. Fire is one of the witch's greatest weaknesses. This is good to know. And what is in that? Well, this is the greatest secret of all. Delicious. 
Continue with your story. The village where everyone was killed. Before he breathed his last, the village elder was able to tell me of a settlement of devil women and their leader, the Red Queen. Here is a passage about her. It speaks little of who she is, but there is this. to translate, it seems she has no capacity to feel love, only pure hatred. It could be the devil himself. Herself. Oh, whatever it is, we need to kill it before it kills us. Death will come to the one who rules the fiery coven. Only if the essence she once shared in love turns to her in full with grace and sacrifice. A riddle. But take heed, for her power grows if she partakes but little of it. How would you like to be a toad in your precious forest, witch hunter? Don't listen to him. He's been possessed. He's not the man you knew. I'm no demon. From this moment on, we must trust our instincts before our minds. Leave nothing to chance. Kill him. Unless they were dead. Perhaps the new king has killed them. Otherwise, he'd be safe within the walls of this castle and the book would be here with me now. I told you to retrieve the book. Didn't you understand? It must be destroyed. Yes, my queen. And the new king remain unharmed in the doing of this simple I see the resemblance. I do. Without it, I might not believe you were my own blood. I saw what those men did to Baba. Barbarians! You couldn't have helped her. Could you? 
that you have something for me. Haven't you? Yes. He's coming, isn't he? You're certain? abandoned our sisters in the field, didn't you? You never abandon the coven, Josepha. Never! Speak to me. Speak! I possessed the bodies of the soldiers. They did not need my assistance, so I came to be by your side as you had commanded me, Mother. What happened to them later was not within my control. I see all. There is nothing that remains hidden from me. Nothing! The Coven fights this one. There is no one beyond our walls who wouldn't burn a witch. Give him half a chance. No sister shall stand alone. From this we do not stray. We do not stray. No, Mother. We do not stray. Their hosts have been killed. So the essence is lost to the Coven. So be it. Oh, leave me. I'll retrieve the book myself. might not last for long. instructions. They are ready. We must find the Red Queen at once. The book. Keep it safe. The knowledge within it is our only chance of victory. We'll be fighting magic, born of the devil himself. We must fight for the people, for the kingdom, and for the memory of my father. And for those innocent ones who've died at the hands of these demons. But those two men. Trade, wouldn't you say? Indeed. 
I am Hobart, leader of Kadistan village. It's very rare we see strangers here in Kadistan. Your men, they seem weary. <laughs> Indeed. Perhaps some refreshments before market. Your goods and horses will be safe here until you return. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Please, follow me to the meeting house. You can rest there. You must be hungry. Hail, my friend. That's what I need. Something's not right. I'm going to stay here, see what I can find out. Good. We'll go inside. Look for the queen. Oh, you're beautiful. Let's go around. <laughs> uh, here, ladies. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> here, yes, right here. More food. More food. Are you always dying so well? And so early. We have visitors so rarely. It's cause for celebration. More ale! Yes, more ale! More ale! are certainly sharp, my friend. Are you sure you know how to use them? The last man who said that to me is in his grave, sir. <laughs> what shall we wager? Nothing. This is for honor. For honor, then. May the first strike win. You trust him? No. Have you noticed the numbers increasing in the room? Yes, sir. Certainly doesn't seem like blight and plague is affected this village. Hmm. Definitely not. We're wasting our time here. The madman was wrong. You don't know which is here. before it is satisfied. We must go. No more fighting. I cannot let you leave, sir. Do not offend me, since I have shown you so much hospitality. We appreciate your generosity. easily they succumb to flattery and ale. Why do you toy with us? Toy with you? You came here to slaughter me. You're out of the blood of the entire village. You and your kind have devastated the crops, endangered my people, and you intend to destroy my entire kingdom. What would you have me do? Your kingdom? Now that you have set me free, I am simply here to take back what is rightfully mine. For decades, I've been locked behind the walls of this wretched village. We know what you are. And we will stop you. 
Your pathetic army is no match for me, even with your precious book. You should give it to me now. Save yourself a little bloodshed. Give it to me. You will have to kill me first. Where is it? Right here. How do we kill them? We don't. Let's go. So it's time to leave. Damn it! and your kingdom! We have unleashed hell. Come on! Come! Good morning, pretty boy. My, you're quite a catch, aren't you? Go to hell. Mm. Such language. I'm beginning to see why my daughter is so taken with you. Save your strength. I think I found a use for you. 
I'll tell you nothing, hag. Torture me all you wish. Torture? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Ready to see your kingdom bleed. Talk to your people. Let them know what's happening. Prepare them. They'll listen to you now. Let them see your compassion. People of the kingdom, come! Listen to your king! I must warn you of the coming danger that threatens every one of us. What you have all been through. No people should suffer. I see your hunger, and I understand your fear. But we cannot, we must not succumb to it. What we have all seen, the death of our comrades, our friends, it was not the work of plague or blight, the work of witches. Witches with whom we have fought already. Witches with whom we have battled. What happens to this kingdom happens to you, but it happens to me also. Because it is in my heart, my blood, and in my soul, and for that, I ask you, my people, to help me fight this evil, this unholy evil that comes to threaten every one of us. How can we fight them? We're too weak. And what will you tell your children, sir? That they should die a convenient death of starvation while they sleep in their beds at night, or they should stand strong and fight this evil that comes for us? They are witches. You have no magic. What we have, it's better. We have our witch hunter. He showed me that we can fight magic and we can win. Together with his book and our strength, we will fight the Red Queen and we will win. We will send her and her army of evil back to hell! <laughs> so freely for your king. Because he would die for me. Is there nothing in your life important enough to die for? Die for my queen? But why? I heard her speaking to you. You're nothing to her. She will kill you when you're no longer useful. You have to know that. Think and do what's right. Let me go back to my kingdom. If you help me, I'll help you. I can promise you that. You have something? Yeah. 
So it says, the ones who deal the fatal blow must look the ruler in the eyes and repeat these words. Not of my mother, nor my father. I am born of light. My faith, it surrounds me, protects me from your might. The earth, the water, the fire, the sky. In our elemental combat, you shall die. I fear. I fear I have no command of sorcery. Think of it like a prayer, one that might save your life and your people. My lord, a strange cloud approaches from the west. Gather your men and your weapons. I'll meet you by the castle gate. I have a plan. Give them the madman and his book, and then they will leave us alone. And you believe that? None of this will end until the Red Queen is dead. And you know it. Ready the archers. Light the torches. And prepare for battle. Stay here in the open. Go. Hide. And if you die, who will lead this battle? Who will restore your kingdom when the enemy has been defeated? You have no heir like your father did. I will fight for my people. I'm of no use to them behind locked doors. Go. You are a better wiser man than your father ever was. I want to fight by your side. You are a brave man, Madden. <laughs> this is what the mighty King Malachi calls his army? <laughs> we will make quick work of you. Ready your weapons. trust you, witch. You know we have more power than you. All I want is the witch hunter and that book. In exchange, I'll return your friend. He's worth something, isn't he? Do it, and it'll be over. Do you really think that blackmail would make me betray my people? Your witch hunter is a charlatan. Charlatan. 
There's no tower. No. My witch hunter seems to bother you. Something's happening. you will do so in death. Under the Red Queen's control, they're her slaves now, so she'll do what she wants with them. What will you do? Kill you. It's her wish. You enjoy what little time you have left, pretty boy. yourself anymore you are still king <clears throat> for the moment why do you kill me kill you you have the king why would I destroy the one thing I have wanted all these years next to escape from that dismal village I waited only for you You, Malachi. You're my son. <laughs> You're my son, Malachi. 
My father told me my mother was dead. Indeed. A small part of me died giving birth in you and your sister. No! 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 no. no. Your father was desperate for an heir. When your sister was born, he was disappointed. But it didn't trouble him for long. You arrived only minutes after your sister. Your father had his heir. That night, you became ill and were taken from us. I did what any mother would do if she had the power. But he was afraid of my magic. He banished me. I begged him. He allowed me to take my daughter, but not his son. I curse you and your kingdom. I have saved your son, and this is how you thank me? You will regret this betrayal until your dying day. He lied to me. I told you I died in childbirth, didn't he? Yes. Oh, you are my son. Otherwise, I would have killed you. What do you want from this? I was given a powerful gift, the same gift that you were born with. There is no stronger bond than that of mother and child. Don't you feel the, the blood running through your veins? Oh, accept your parentage. Together, we can reign in a triumvirate of mind, body, and soul. My sister, I saw her. Yeah. I saw her. Josepha, she has the gift of dark magic, just as you do. We will be stronger than any other ruler in the world. Huh? Never. Look into my eyes, see the truth. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, don't be afraid. It is not fear I feel for you. Tell us where the book is, fiend. Never. Maybe you'd like to be more comfortable then. Hunter has more spirit than he displays. Once more, where is that book? Why do you reject this power I'm offering you? Why? Because I am my people's king. I will die for them before I join you. People of your kingdom will be my slaves. I will rule them as I see fit until you join me. This is your doing. Take it to the dungeon. Executioner and 
nothing else. And the king? Your friend? Is my brother. But you? You are nothing. If you will not give us the book, then there is no use for you. And what happens when you're no longer useful? Leave us. To suffer. To suffer! I know there's good in you. I can see it in you. failed you, my friend. No. We must keep the book safe. If we give up our knowledge of the black cards, we will doom all humanity. No. No. Remember where you came from. It's there you'll find what you seek. Did I come from the devil? The Red Queen. I am her son. My father banished her. Kept the dark truth from all of us for years. Her son. Do you know what this means? Yes. That I am cursed. No. You are blessed. Remember what the book said. Death. Essence she once shared in love. It will return in full with grace and sacrifices, of course. That's it. Our blood, our essence flows through your veins. You, you are the one. Only you. share the good news that I had a brother. Is that all that troubles you? I thought you were going to moan about having to get rid of that rather handsome young man. Oh, it would have been nice to know that I had a brother. Someone to protect me. Someone to share secrets with. You know all about secrets, don't you, my queen? You grow tiresome, my child. Why are you doing this? I have waited years for your brother to return. Now the day has come when all that was taken from me is about to be restored. My triumvirate is only complete when all three of us are together. What? Are we all to sit side by side doing your evil bidding? Enough. Or what? Will you have me killed too? What will that do to your plans? Oh, 
We'll just take that down for a moment. Not a murderer. You know, I must kill the Red Queen. Whatever the cost. You know where the king's being held. Do 
have no king. Are you with me? I'm with you, my lord. Death will come to the one who rules the fire. Only if the essence she once shared in love returns to her in full with grace and sacrifice. victorious against the army of evil, but our victory has come at a great price. Today we honor a warrior, a brother, and a dear friend. A friend whose loyalty to the kingdom, to my father, and to me, will keep his memory strong for people and king to come. Today we enjoy our freedom. We live with hope. So let his sacrifice remind us always that together we are strong. Together. We are Dragonoth. <laughs> 